Oh, great magnificent one. It is you. You're out. Yes, I'm out. And now, I'm going to eat your liver. <laughs> Definitely under some sort of suggestion, Dr. BG. I keep seeing the same address over and over and over and over again. 983 Turk and Cock Road. That's this address. Of course it is. Wait. I see a detached garage next to a two bedroom fixer upper. There's Andre the Gourmet. He's wearing my clothes and an apron. He's inside the garage waving around a huge pasting brush. I know where he is, Dr. Beachy. I know where he is. Where? 666 Luckinville Lane. Careful, Andre. You don't want to burn yourself, oh great magnificent one. Shut up, you cheap little nothing. How dare you try to steal my life while I'm being rehabilitated? Ooh. I can't wait to eat you. It'll be my honor, sir. By the way, I have a wonderful recipe for liver. You really are an idiot. And you. You really are a little oven stuffer, aren't you? No, no, please, no, let me go home, please. I want to go home. Shut up or I'll eat you first. <laughs> it's a good thing I always carry a spare set of leathers. Dr. Beachy thought it would be a big mistake to allow Andre the Gourmet into my mind. But somehow, he got in. And now I have him right where he doesn't want me. Hot on his trail, step for step. Move for move. I guess Andre had his getaway car cleaned. Talk about anal retention. Well, on to 666 Luckin' Mill Lane. Must be going on in that garage. Ugh. There's not a second to lose. Is this 666 Luckin' Bill Lane? Sorry, dude. Right number, wrong street. This is Luckin' Hurst. Luckin' Bill's one street over. Gnarly, Harley. Thank you. Have your parents send the bill for the door and the ping pong table to me and extend my deepest apologies. Who are you? The searcher. I don't want to be pushy here, but I think I would taste great sauteed in a butter and garlic sauce with a dash of paprika. <laughs> garlic and paprika? I hope you taste better than you think. Just trying to be helpful, sir. You know I worship you. Doesn't it bother you that I'm going to eat you? It's my honor, sir. After all, how many people can say they've been eaten by Andre the Gourmet? 36. Not counting you and the little oven stuffer here. This is 666 Luckin' Bill Lane. No, this is 669. You know, you're 
You're nine. It, it looks like a six. Yeah, I've been meaning to get that fixed. Well, you can send me a bill for the, the door and the boat, and I'll even throw in the nine. Who are you? They call me the searcher. Carrots. They clean my palate and help flush my liver. You know what? You're both crazy! You're out of your minds! Help! Somebody please help me! That's it. Time to barbecue the babe. <laughs> So you're absolutely sure this is 666 Luckin' Bill Lane. I've been working this route for 23 years. If you don't mind my saying, the guy that lives here is completely out of his mind. Well, don't worry. You won't be delivering his mail here anymore. safe than overextended. Of course it's locked. Why would he leave it open? Ah! Must be Big Bone Drooly Conklin. What a pair of lungs. I've got to get inside quick. But how? <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. Good eating tonight. Andre, someone's on the roof. It could be a cat. <laughs> I'll just put it on low so it doesn't make much noise. That's no cat. Hmm. Maybe I should have stood over there. You! How did you find me here? You led me here, Andre the Gourmet. You outsmarted yourself by getting in my brain. That's not a brain. That's some sort of wind-up toy. Well, I wound up here, big shot. You gonna let him talk to you that way, Andre? Eat him! Eat him now! Shut up, Meyer, or I'll eat your mouth. Mm. You think just because you found me here that you can get the better of me? I'm still inside your mind, my little searcher boy. Tell me again how you moved around a lot as a child. Well, actually, Idaho is quite nice. No! Get out of my mind. There's only room for me in there. Hardly. If you fight, it only makes it worse. Relax. Let me in. No. No more. You can huff and you can buff, but you won't come in. It's over, Andre. You're finished. You moron. You Neanderthal. You Cretan. You really think you're a match for my intellect? I don't just devour people. I devour books. I'm well read. Well, you can read all you want at the Sedgwick Prison for the Criminally Insane. I'm not going back to Dr. Beachy. I hate her, and I hate you. I'm going to put a stick up your behind, freeze you, and eat you like a popsicle. And there's not a thing you can do to stop me. I can think of one thing. What's that? Oh, you beast! You monster! You hit Andre the Cormain! <laughs> well, it was either that or the stick. 
I don't know how to thank you for getting our little girl back. Do you have the check? I incurred some damages during the rescue of your beloved daughter. Thank you. <sighs> and as for you, young lady, next time, stay away from strangers. I will. Thank you, searcher. Look like you could use a hand, buddy. Oh, would you? Could you? Oh, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Look, look why don't you get in and, and pull while I push? <laughs> Careful now. Watch that arm. I hope you like show tunes. What? <laughs> Don't talk to strangers. Good advice from the searcher. Too bad he didn't follow it. But he'll be all right. He always is. He's supposed to be behind the desk. Next week, we return with another thrill-packed half-hour of Danger Theater. Now, don't make any plans. You won't want to miss it. What? What's going on? Who's she? It's my date. I didn't want to waste the tux. Good night. Good luck. And Bon Appetit from Danger Theater. We're... That's our tux. Try and catch me.